Hi guys, in this video we'll be discussing pathogens, bacteria, viruses, fungi, protists and finally a summary. In another video we talk about communicable diseases. We discuss that communicable diseases are diseases that are spread from person to person or from animals to people and these are usually caused by pathogens. But what are pathogens? Well, pathogens are defined as microorganisms that cause communicable diseases when they enter the body. It's important to remember that most microorganisms don't harm animals or people. However, the ones that do are called pathogens. There are several different types of pathogens. And these can infect animals or plants. The organisms that cause these diseases include bacteria, viruses, protists and fungi. This is what a bacteria looks like. And this is what a virus looks like. This is a protist and this is a fungi. I'll be going through how each of these cause disease in this video. The first organisms we're going to be talking about are bacteria. Bacteria are tiny cells which rapidly reproduce inside the body. This means they make many more copies of themselves. Obviously, there are more bacteria than this in the body. It's important to remember that not all bacteria in the body are harmful. For example, there are bacteria in the gut that help you digest food. However, some bacteria are pathogens and they may make you feel ill by producing toxins and these damage tissues. So this bacteria produces the toxins shown here and these toxins can damage tissues. For example, the bacteria that causes tuberculosis produces toxins that damage the tissues in the lungs. Now let's look at some examples of bacterial diseases. These include chlamydia, gonorrhea, tuberculosis, salmonella, cholera, and stomach ulcers. This is a bacteria that causes cholera. This one causes gonorrhea. This bacteria causes tuberculosis or TB. Viruses can also cause disease. Viruses, unlike bacteria, are not living cells. As they aren't living, it means that they can't reproduce by themselves, but more copies of the viruses can be made inside your cells by using the cell's machinery. They do this by taking over a cell and causing that cell to make more viruses. Now let's look at the stages of viral replication. So this is a virus. And you can see that this virus contains genes. The first stage of viral re replication is when the virus attacks a cell. It then inserts its genes. The virus then tells the nucleus to copy its genes. After this, new viruses are made. After enough copies of the virus is made, the cells burst. The reason cells burst is to release the new copies of the virus. This obviously damages the cells. The cell damage is what makes you feel ill. One example of a virus is human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. And this is shown here. HIV normally infects and destroys cells like white blood cells that help the body defend against disease. Fungi are other organisms that cause disease. They're things like yeast and moles. Some fungi can be pathogens. This is an example of mold. Some fungi are single-celled. They may have a hyphae, which is a thread-like structure which penetrates plants and all animals to cause disease. And this is hyphae, and this can penetrate the skin of humans or the surface of plants. Hyphae can be spread by the production of spores. These are the spores produced by the hyphae that spread to plants or animals. Some diseases called by fungi include athlete's foot and rose black spot disease. Protists can also cause disease. But what are protists? Protists are actually eukaryotes and most are single celled. This is an example of a protist. Protists are often spread and get into an organism via a vector. A vector is something that carries a pathogen without getting the disease itself. For example, Malaria is caused by protists, and these are carried by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes carry the parasite, 
and then when it bites a human, it infects it by transferring the protus to the blood. Malaria can be fatal as it can affect the red blood cells and the liver. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.